One of our more popular solutions here in the COE is an IP-based door intercom that allows me to control access to a controlled facility during the day uh, in places like uh, maybe a school building or a public building like a government facility and so on. So we have a relatively new solution, a relatively easy solution for implementing uh, a door intercom not only with uh, voice so I can hear what's going on but also with an onboard video camera so I can actually see who's at the door. Now the way we do that is we start with uh, the do actual door communicator here. This is from one of our partners, 2N Telecommunications. Uh, they provide this unit here. It's simply a SIP based IP endpoint that registers with Call Manager. As you can see the device itself is relatively simple. Uh, this particular model has some presets here on the side so there's a total of six preset buttons here that can call um, pre-configured destinations. There's dis a display in the middle that I can use as a small directory uh, or to display a logo if I want. And then lastly you can see that there's a full keypad here for entering additional credentials uh, or local authentication if I want to. Uh, so it's relatively simple the way it works. If I want to request entry, I simply press the indicated button. And now when we take a look over here, we hear that the phone is ringing. This is actually a Cisco 9971 that we're, we're receiving the call on. And what's nice about this is you can see once I answer the call, the video pops up right here on the screen. And so now what I'm looking at, right there on the display, I'm able to see the person standing at the door that's requesting entry. They, I can see their face. They can display an ID card if necessary. Once I know who's there at the door, I can hang up. And if I want them to come in, all I have to do, you can see this key labeled right here says unlock door. I can actually unlock the door. Cisco iFix. Access has been granted to a secure area. And that was a radio confirmation that we play there. That was simply a confirmation coming from iPix uh, that someone has entered into a secure area. Okay, so that's one relatively simple scenario that we have uh, using the door intercom. Once again, that's a completely IP-based solution. Uh, this side we have the 2N uh, Helios IP door communicator uh, talking over here to a Cisco 9971 IP phone with video. Uh, both endpoints register to either Call Manager or Call Manager Express to do that. So that's a simple use case for everyday access control uh, in a public facility. Now there's another use case I might have for this too. Uh, perhaps I have a situation where I've got a need for an emergency call box, maybe in a large parking lot or a parking garage for example. Uh, I want to provide a way for someone to call for help in the case of an emergency. So I can actually use the same unit to do that kind of thing as well, I just combine it with some alerting. So once again I'll press the button to initiate the call here uh, and uh, I go ahead and answer. Emergency call box has been activated in the Herndon Center of Excellence. Call box 150. So once again, I get my video from the call box itself. You heard the emergency announcement from the radio. And now if we take a look over at our display here on the wall, the display on the wall is indicating that there's an emergency situation here. And not only am I getting an indication there's an emergency, the snapshot here that you see, this snapshot is actually coming from a separate camera that's giving me a view of the surrounding area of the call box. Okay, so combining the IP communicator along with uh, other components in our emergency management solution, uh, we get a full emergency call box solution. Okay? So once again, that's a quick look at the door communicator from 2N Telecommunications combined with Cisco Call Manager and a Cisco 9971 phone. We have a very simple solution, very easy to configure for a completely IP-based solution for a door intercom.